Good morning. It's a beautiful day on the AT. I'm hiking out of Daleville. I took my sweet time getting ready this morning. Left a little bit after 6 a.m. And I don't, it's the view. I don't have a, I don't know, a super specific plan today. I was thinking it could be nice to get to Thunder Hill Shelter. It's 42 miles away, a little less now since I've been hiking. I have a full pack, lots of food, new shoes that are in the wide width, uh, which is feeling really good for my toes. So yeah, I don't, I don't have a plan. I'm just gonna roll with it and hike north and enjoy the trail. It has been the day of spider webs. I, yeah, I don't know if it's that everyone's at trail days and there are no hikers out, but I am just breaking all the cobwebs on the trail. I, sometimes I'm just walking like this so I don't have to deal with it, but then I'm like, that's, that's probably not good for my neck. But I am parallel with the Blue Ridge Parkway right now in the Blue Ridge Mountains. I'll be at Black Horse Gap soon. That, that, that is where I ended my day one time uh, during my AT northbound FKT. And a very nice person, I believe, brought subs and milkshakes that were waiting for me that night. It was the end of a near 50 mile day, I believe. So good, good memories from that a little trail magic from a trail angel. And <clears throat> yeah, I'm still, I'm just kind of bopping along. I am like, I feel very strange not having a goal. It, not having goals is hard for me. So maybe this is a good practice in just being. I, I don't like that. <laughs> I can't just be, I have to be doing something. So I guess I'm doing something, which is hiking, but just hiking without, I don't, I'm like, I don't, what am I doing? I don't know, but that's okay. But anyway, uh, the day's going great so far and we'll see what happens. I feel like I've been here before. I mean, technically I have, but there's, there's a lot of this on the AT, and I am not complaining. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it's a butterfly. It's really fast. Yeah, just another day of this. I'll take it. 24 miles in for the day. That is just so gorgeous. I'm just out here in the flowers. Just finding my zen, I guess. And all this time to myself, it's like coming up with ideas. <laughs> Not hiking related ideas, just things I want to do at home, uh, things I feel excited about, uh, what I want to do after I graduate next year. Um, so yeah, it really is, it's time, it's good to have uninterrupted time to yourself. So even though I feel a little aimless, besides the fact that I'm walking north, uh, I think this is good. This is good for me. I never see snakes. Finally, I'm seeing a snake. And it's in my way. And he's probably like, oh shoot, what am I going to do? All you have to do is move, snake. Move. Am I going to have to jump over you? Do I have to jump over you? 
Hey, Snakey. Hey, Snake. Uh-oh. Oh, he didn't like that. Yeah, yeah, go the other way. There you go. Go, go, go. Good snake. Good snake. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Thank you for moving. I will be going on my way. Bye. All right, so I had been thinking <clears throat> at the most... <coughs> <clears throat> okay, yeah, don't mind me. Okay, still <laughs> kicking whatever this is, but I was thinking at the most I'd go to Thunder Hill Shelter today. That's 42 miles from Daleville where I started. And if I kept going, I'd probably get there around 8.30 or so, which is kind of late, not terrible. Uh, but yeah, I'm approaching 30 miles now. <coughs> Excuse me. Wow. And I, I, so I pulled up my map and was like, hmm, I wonder like what some other options are. And then I saw uh, Middle Creek Campground, which, yeah, Middle Creek Camp, <laughs> Middle Creek Campground, which is a place David Horton recommended to me. And when I saw it, I was like, ah, oh, I don't, I kind of want to go farther than that. And now it's all, it's like three o'clock, maybe a little past three. Uh, but I just read the description and it was like, there's showers and laundry and burgers and ice cream. And it's like, okay, do I want to hike 12 more miles or do I want ice cream and burgers and showers and laundry and a place to sleep? <laughs> uh, yeah, and the fact that like, I can do whatever I want on this trip. I don't, I don't have to hike at all if I don't want to, but I still put in a good day and I am out here treating myself to having a good time. So I, I'm going to go to the campground, do what I want. Oh boy. Now this brings back memory from my 2020 hike. Look at this blow down and it is clearly very fresh because, well, it's not cleared. There are a bunch of leaves still on the tree. You can smell the bark. And I'm going to have to find my way through this. Gosh, this is really bad. Uh, but yeah, I encountered blowdown after blowdown, like just like this one. And it was really stressful because sometimes it was hard to tell where the trail even went because there were so many trees down. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this doesn't look super fun to navigate. I'm going to put away my phone. I guess if I really wanted to, I could go down this embankment. You can see the trail is on the other side, but oh, uh, we'll, we'll see. Hopefully it's not too bad. All right, made it through, but boy, I did not like that. I don't, I do not like blowdowns. I have a fear of a tree falling on me. I've seen it happen before, not even in the woods, but actually at Dunaway Track in Portland. It was a really hot day. I think maybe the tree got really dried out after kind of having a heat wave in Portland. But uh, it was I, it was this terrible cracking sound, crackling. It, it sounded like fireworks or gunshots. It, I immediately was like, oh, what's happening? And then right across the track from where I was, we saw, I was with a group of people, but there were runners on the track. And then we saw them scatter just as this huge tree right over the track fell. And almost all the runners were able to get out from under the tree in time. It happened really fast. But then this one girl, this poor girl got pinned under the tree I believe she was a, a short distance, like a sprinter, uh, and a, yeah. And anyway, she survived, but I think it broke her back. But yeah, I have seen trees fall on the AT. I've heard them fall. It's scary and it happens really fast. So anytime I hear any hint or like, like of a, a creak of a tree, like, I run. There are times on this trip that I 
you know, thought maybe I heard something and just, it doesn't matter how tired I am, that adrenaline will kick in and I will sprint. Anyway, that's me and my fear of falling trees. Thank <laughs> you.